Gaining respect from your boss or manager is the most important thing employees want, according to a study by Harvard Business Review of 20,000 employees around the world. We all want to be valued as individuals and our work viewed as valuable. Whether you have just started a new job or have been with your manager for years, there is a lot you can do to encourage your boss to respect you. Gaining their trust, appreciation and respect happens in stages. An example of the stages of your boss thinking towards you could be, for instance, first stage, this person is doing a good job, they are worth keeping. Secondly, they might be thinking, you know, they are fitting in with the team, not causing any problems, and everyone seems to like them. Third, I feel they help me personally with my problems and pressures. Fourth, it could be, I like this person, and I'm happy to chat about my life outside of work with them. Fifth, I'm happy to invest my time to give them interesting work and develop their careers. And sixth, it might be I value and seek out their opinions and views. How to gain respect from your boss is a top priority for pretty much everyone. I have seven actions to share with you to proactively gain respect from your manager and then deepen that respect to become a trusted partner to your manager. These are firstly, show respect to get respect. Secondly, align your work. Thirdly, put the team before yourself. Fourth, adapt your communication style. Fifth, provide solutions. Sixth, have your own opinion. And then seventh, educate your boss. Be proactive in managing your relationship with your boss. Having good relationship with your manager matters more to you than it does to them. Take ownership of the relationship and actively work to gain respect from your boss by taking action on what I share with you today. My name is Jess Coles, and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources, and courses teaching you how to step change your team's performance. And I've included links to additional videos and resources in the description below, as well as a video timestamp, so do take a look at these. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. How to gain respect from your manager starts with showing respect to get respect. You can't expect your manager to respect you if you don't respect them first. Pay close attention to your boss, you know, what they do in their job, how they interact with the team, what they're really good at, what impresses you, what you think you can learn from them. Focus on the positives and you will find lots of areas that you can consciously respect your manager for. Even if you have a difficult boss, a demanding boss, there'll be things that they do that you will admire and therefore respect your boss for. Demonstrate your respect by giving your manager positive feedback in these areas. Or ask them to teach you a bit about how they do X. Or stand up for your boss in areas that you respect them for when colleagues are complaining. And manage your body language, tone of voice and how you behave to demonstrate your respect for your boss and show them what you admire about what they do or at least parts of what they do. Be proactive without going over the top. You're thinking, I respect and admire my manager, alone is not enough. Demonstrate your respect for your boss in ways that you are comfortable with. Show respect to get respect. The second action to gain respect from your boss is to align your work with your boss's work. Your boss will be under pressure and have a long list of challenges and problems to overcome and tasks and activities to organise. What can you do to help them personally? You observe what they talk about, complain about and spend their time on. Ask them what are they working on and how to prioritise your work to help them. Ask your colleagues. Ask your boss to pass over a few of their minor problems and then do a good job of delivering against them. Then ask for more complex problems, deliver and then repeat. You know, firstly, this gives you more interesting work to do and then secondly, your manager will be very grateful you will gain respect from your boss for proactively helping them. Don't forget to deliver on your day job first before taking on extra work. Look to personally help your boss reduce their challenges. Deliver on what they ask you to do proactively and with energy and you will get respect from your manager. The third action to gain respect from your manager is to put the team before yourself. Your manager's performance is mainly assessed on how well the team performs. Improving team performance is the main goal of most people managers. Improving team performance is how managers can add the most value to the business. 
There is loads every team member can do to visibly help improve the team performance. You know, a few of them are, you know, firstly, proactively help colleagues where you can. You know, they will appreciate it, plus it helps improve the team's overall output. Secondly, work at building positive relationships on a professional and personal level with team members. The more trust that is built within the team, the better the team performance. Third, be positive in your outlook. You encourage a positive and a can-do attitude in other team members too. Fourth, do extra work to help other team members and to help reach team targets earlier. Fifth, manage expectations realistically and honestly, thus ensuring no one gets too many surprises and everyone consistently delivers to the expectations you have set. Sixth, participate in social events to get to know and build stronger relationships with other team members. And seventh, work to be above average in terms of what and how you deliver your work. All of these actions will help the team's performance overall and contribute to the motivation and energy of the team. Work to put the team before yourself and it won't be long before you feel, my manager respects me. The fourth action for the boss to respect you is to adapt your communication style. Your boss will have more relationships to manage than you. Plus having a good relationship with your manager is much more important to you. For both of these reasons, adapt your communication style and communication activities to what your boss wants rather than expect them to adapt to what you prefer. Ask your manager how they want to be kept in the loop with what you are doing. You know, popular options include, you know, first it could be a formal one-on-one -on -one meeting each week or every other week. Secondly, it could be an email summary each day or at the end of each week. Or it could be ad hoc emails, or it could be ad hoc uh, meetings, or it could be even weekly team meetings. The hardest is a boss that doesn't tell you what they want and doesn't give you much or any time. Build a list of actions you could take to keep them in the loop. Try each one and see what the response is. You know, repeat the ones that seem to get a response or work better for your boss. Adapt your communication style to what works best for your manager. Your efforts will help ensure your boss respects you. The fifth action to get your boss respecting you is to provide solutions. You know, every boss loves team members that consistently spot problems and work out a solution for that problem before chatting through the solution with their boss. The message from the team member is, I've spotted a problem and I've taken the time to solve it. Are you happy with my solution? What is not to like about this approach? It saves the manager time, energy and effort. You know, providing solutions is an act of proactively taking work off your boss's to-do list. This is one of my favourite ways to get respect from my boss. You should know more about your area than your boss. You should be the first to spot problems and understand the impact of those problems. You may need to educate your boss about the issues. You are also in a good place to build practical solutions. If you're struggling, ask team members for help to create a solution. You know, proactively creating solutions and implementing them is very valuable. Another very good way of spotting problems is asking a lot of questions of others and listening to what they tell you. Be curious and work to understand the why and the context behind the requests you get and the activities the team undertakes. When you spot problems, create at least one practical solution before speaking to your manager. This is a brilliant way for you to get your boss respecting you. The sixth action to get respect from your boss is to have your own opinion. You have to earn the right to have your opinion listened to by your boss. You need to earn your boss's trust before they will value your opinion. When your boss starts to seek out your opinion, you know that you've gained their trust and respect. When you are consistently delivering on the first five actions that we've already gone through, it is very likely your boss will trust you enough to seek your opinion. Having an opinion that adds value to dealing with the problems or the situation and being confident to honestly communicate that opinion diplomatically are also really key. Good managers want other people's opinions and views. They value the differences of, of opinions to their own. You know, they value the different ideas, the different backgrounds and the different perspectives other people bring. To form a considered opinion, reflect on the issues the team is facing and work out your opinion on those issues and what assumptions and data you have to support your opinion. Yet everyone has an opinion. A considered opinion supported by data, experience and insights is much more valuable in the workplace. If you want to gain the respect from your boss, 
put in the time to think through your opinions on a range of issues currently facing the team and be prepared to defend them with reference to data and insights. Express your opinions in private with your boss unless they specifically ask you to express your opinions in public, especially if they are not aligned to your boss's opinion. Your boss will respect you a lot more for taking this approach. The seventh action in how to gain respect at work is to educate your boss. There is loads that your boss doesn't know about your areas of responsibility. Now you are the expert. Don't be afraid to educate your manager when, for example, you spot a current or a future problem and issues. Or you might be overworked or can't deliver against everything that's being asked of you. Or thirdly, it might be they're proposing something that you know is unlikely to work. Or fourth, if they don't appreciate the help that you need to overcome a specific hurdle. How you educate your boss is important. You know, don't tell them bluntly that they're wrong unless you've got a really strong relationship with them. Ask them questions that will lead them directly to the issues you spot. Talk them through previous experiences you have had with their idea and what in your humble opinion might need to change to improve its likely success. Be diplomatic and be considerate. Never make your boss feel silly or embarrass them. For example, you could start a conversation with, I'm sure you've already know this, so just to remind you, and boom, 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 boom. Or it could be, you know, have you considered the impact of implementing XXX on YYY? Or it could be, you know, I'm a little confused. We've tried XXX in the past and the problems we had with it with this were YYY. Have you taken this into account in your suggestion? Or it could be, you know, may I make a suggestion that will improve on the ideas you're putting forward? Good managers will be delighted you are happy to educate them when they don't fully understand a specific area. This gives them the confidence that you know your stuff and, more importantly, are confident enough to cover any knowledge shortfalls that your manager has. Educating your manager in a respectful way is a great way to gain respect from your boss. So in summary, earning respect from your boss is super important for any team member. When you have a good relationship with your boss, your life at work is so much more enjoyable and you are much more likely to be successful in your career. Your boss showing their respect of you and you consistently demonstrating your respect for your boss is a key sign of a good relationship. Work to get your boss respecting you by taking each of these seven actions. Firstly, show respect to get respect. Secondly, align your work. Thirdly, put the team before yourself. Fourth, adapt your communication style. Fifth, provide solutions. Sixth, have your own opinion. And then seventh, educate your boss. Be proactive and take responsibility for your most important relationship at work. If you have any questions on how to gain respect from your boss or manager, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. And don't forget to take a look in the description below for additional resources and videos that might be useful to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.